Hi guys, so in this video I wanted to share my experience of uh, keeping Altum Angel fish. I've had Altum Angels uh, for a few years, uh, so I've got quite a bit of experience to share. So normally you will have to choose between wild caught and captive bred Altums. Uh, the big problem with wild caught fish is that uh, they originally come from acidic black water conditions. And if your uh, retailer has not uh, acclimated them to a water similar to yours, you are likely to buy a fish with lots of problems. So most uh, responsible retailers, they will quarantine their fish for about a week before selling uh, them to you. But even a week is not enough to acclim acclimate uh, Altum Angels. So less responsible retailers, they will sell the fish to you straight away without quarantining them, without acclimating them. And in that case you will get a fish that needs to be adapted to uh, absolutely different conditions. So unless you are able to provide your items, your freshly purchased wild caught items with acidic uh, conditions, you will have to struggle quite a bit before you will be able to adapt them to your water. Uh, there are even more problems with the juvenile items uh, because uh, before this fish actually reach your retailer uh, they go through several stages. So first uh, they kept uh, at a collector's place then a collector sells them to a wholesaler place wholesaler uh, sells them to your retailer so they're likely to spend at least uh, a couple of weeks uh, before they actually reach your retailer and during that process uh, most of the exporters sellers uh, wholesalers they don't really feed them so they starve them and uh, for a young altum, just like for any other juvenile fish, uh, starving for two or three weeks, it means that they will be stunted. So their growth will be inhibited and once you get them, uh, yes, you can try to feed them up and uh, you will try to fatten them up and they will certainly grow, but they will probably never reach the same size and the same uh, beauty as uh, grown-up altums. You are not likely to face either of these challenges with captive bred fish. So uh, they usually adapted uh, to a water similar to yours. Uh, they used to eat dry foods. Uh, they're hardier. Uh, they're more used uh, to live in uh, fish tank conditions. So I always prefer to buy uh, captive bred fish. Uh, they're harder to find. Uh, they're harder to source. Uh, they might be more expensive, but you're buying a fish that is more likely to survive in your conditions and unless you are extremely experienced with acidic conditions with black water conditions and you have uh, you have adapted uh, lots of altum angels or similarly complicated fish to your uh, water conditions uh, it, it is highly advisable that you get captive bred fish so what's the best tank size for your altum angels well they grow quite large so adult altums uh, they would need uh, at least uh, 100 gallons uh, so it's like uh, 500 liters for a group of uh, four or five uh, six but if you're raising a uh, juvenile altums um, you can start with a smaller tank because in a larger tank it will be harder for them to find food it will be uh, harder for you to make water changes and you will have to make uh, at least two water changes per week so that they have fresh water and they grow faster uh, so <clears throat> I would recommend starting with uh, about 50 gallon tank, 50 to 60 gallon tank if you are raising uh, juvenile fish, uh, so it's about 250 liters. I currently have my juvenile items in a 60 gallon tank and uh, uh, they grow here relatively fast and uh, once uh, they reach uh, one year old uh, I will be moving them to a larger tank but uh, the oldest items that I have here are about eight months old. So just like discus uh, altum angel fish like it hot, so they prefer hotter temperatures, which means uh, something uh, between 27 and 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, they would certainly live and they will feel probably quite all right in 25 to 26 degrees, but they will not grow as fast and they will not feed as much in cooler temperatures. So uh, anything above 27 degrees Celsius would work just fine for them. So water chemistry. 
As I've said before, items originate from acidic soft water conditions, which means that they will thrive and they will enjoy softer water or something uh, below uh, pH 7 in your home tank it's quite different for captive bred uh, items uh, because they would be able to withstand much higher ph above seven and uh, well in order to create uh, perfect uh, conditions for them to breed you should definitely lower your ph uh, below six uh, and uh, that's something that they would prefer for breeding uh, period but uh, they will uh, thrive at a ph of about seven uh, if we're talking about captive bred items wild caught fish uh, of course are more delicate and uh, they will require uh, softness uh, and har well, sorry hardness closer to their natural uh, habitat range which is something uh, around 5.5 or uh, 6 water changes uh, so ultimate angels they need pristine clean water so you will have to change your water at least twice per week uh, when you are raising up juvenile fish so they will eat a lot you will have to feed them a lot at least uh, three times per day and because they will eat a lot you will have to change water quite frequently i would not recommend changing water more than twice Twice per week because unlike discus altums are more sensitive uh, to fresh water to a new water that basically uh, yes you can age water which will help in this sense but they still prefer more stable conditions as compared to discus in case of discus especially juvenile discus you can change water every day two times per day and they will absolutely enjoy it that's not exactly the case with altums they prefer more stable conditions the same goes for adult fish so they they wouldn't enjoy uh, frequent water changes uh, twice per week once per week is perfectly fine for adult fish about 40 percent of, of the total volume if you have strong biological filtration that would be just perfect for them feeding so it's quite easy to feed captive bred items uh, they would accept dry foods they would accept frozen foods obviously they will enjoy live foods in case of uh, my captive bred items uh, they enjoy viber bites that's a staple this is what they would eat every day occasionally i give them as a treat frozen brine shrimp or very occasionally frozen bloodworm but uh, the staple is dry food it, it would be completely different with wild caught items particularly with freshly caught items and not properly acclimated fish they would require live food or at least frozen food as a daily diet and uh, it will take uh, you a while to wean them onto the dry food so they can eventually get used to dry foods but it will be a long and hard process none of these challenges are likely uh, to be encountered with captive bred fish and mates so alto angel fish are probably uh, the most peaceful uh, type of angel fish uh, i've kept mine captive bred items uh, with uh, cardinal tetras with uh, golden tetras which are really small fish as well I've kept them with uh, really small juvenile discus and uh, they've never they've never touched any other fish even the smallest of the cardinal tetras that I've had with them they've always been uh, safe and alive with altums so generally altums are not aggressive uh, to other species yeah it, it's quite obvious that you shouldn't keep them with larger fish with larger cichlids uh, you can keep them with discus unless you have a breeding pair of discus if you have a breeding pair of discus obviously they will harass all other fish in the tank but unless you have a breeding pair you can keep them together with discus i would not recommend keeping altums with other types of angel fish because other angels could be quite aggressive towards altums and altums are more relaxed and they're more peaceful than let's say a monocapuru redback angel fish or rio nanai angels for example i've had a much smaller rio nanai angel fish he here and uh, uh, that fish was harassing much larger altums because altums are more relaxed more uh, laid back and uh, more peaceful compared to uh, other types of uh, angel fish so uh, as long as the temperature range and water chemistry works for uh, other sp species of south american fish you can keep them comfortably with altums because altums are unlikely to harass them but you have to keep in mind that altums have this long uh, 
fin extensions and anything nippy or anything aggressive like some types of tetra uh, they would definitely harass altums and they will make their life uh, a nightmare so just to summarize, uh, captive bred altum angelfish are not challenging to keep you. You have to satisfy some basic conditions, very similar to discus fish, and you will be successful with them. So they will grow fast, they will be healthy, and uh, quite possibly they will start breeding. Wild caught fish are more challenging to deal with, so you have to be prepared to uh, acclimate them and you have to be prepared to wean them onto different types of foods particularly dry foods and it will be a bit of a challenge particularly if you buy wild caught um, items of, uh, which haven't been acclimated and which haven't been uh, used uh, to water similar to yours so that will be a bit of a struggle and probably that's one of the reasons why items have this reputation of uh, picky and delicate uh, fish uh, which is not always the case and definitely not the case with captive bred items so I hope that this video was useful for you and I hope you will consider uh, purchasing and keeping this absolutely beautiful and uh, majestic uh, fish and uh, so don't forget um, to subscribe if you haven't uh, and uh, leave your comments in the comment sections and I will see you in uh, further videos